Hello from Corpus Christi, Texas. Uh, recommendations on filters to use when shooting a solar eclipse. Uh, too much conflicting information, which I agree. Uh, I whisked out a few weeks ago, but, but we'll be a path of April 2024. Yes, you'll be right in the path. It's going to go right through Texas again, right up through the, the Midwest, over towards the top uh, Canada, the Northwest. So anybody can capture that in 2024. There is a lot of conflicting information on this. I, I'll take this question if you want. Uh, no, I, I want to cover this <laughs> one. So <laughs> Solar eclipses are my thing. <laughs> so there is a lot of conflicting information out there. What you have to realize is everybody is going to recommend the thing that is the safest, and that is if you want the safest, go get a solar filter. Mm -hmm. However, I have shot many of eclipses many. without a solar filter. Mm -hmm. You have to have the 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 reduction of light enough to not damage your sensor, mm -hmm. which usually is about 16, 17, 18 stops. Mm -hmm. I shot one just a couple weeks ago, the one that you missed out on, yeah. with a 10 stop and a six stop in front of my cell phone, and it worked just fine. Wow. I shot a 10 stop and a six stop in front of my mirrorless, and it did not damage the sensor. You just need to have enough reduction of light. But if you want to be safe, go get a solar filter. The other thing is you can go to B&H and just get solar film. I've shot with solar film before. Mm -hmm. Just know as long as you're reducing the light enough to where you're not going to be sending that into your camera. And you got to also realize, too, that people don't realize, like, versus telescopes, cameras already have UV filters in them. The lenses that you're using have a UV filter. Mm -hmm. Your camera has an IR cut filter. Those things are already in your camera. That's why we can shoot the sun every day of the week you're shooting a portrait, yeah. and you have the sun behind you, and you get the sun flare. If it was going to damage your sensor, it would damage your sensor. Yep. It's not going to, people. Yep. If you're going to constantly shoot the sun over a long period of time, get a solar filter. Yeah. If you want a picture of the eclipse every so often, just reduce the light enough. Yeah. 16 stops, 17 stops, 18 stops. Or if you got two 10 stops, put them together, you're at 20 stops. You'll be fine. There you go.